Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nara and here we're discussing astrology, spirituality, and psychology. If you want to gain more clarity and change your life, then you definitely need to check out your birth chart placements. But for this, you do need to know your time of birth and then you might want to go on astro.com, find free horoscopes, and check out the ascendant drawing and find out your placements. However, if you happen to have Scorpio or Pluto in the 11th house of your natal chart, then welcome to this video. So I'm just having a coffee and pick Libra because it's my rising sign. So if you want to check out mugs, astrology mugs, then please check out my uh, Shopify store, which I will link down below. But let's talk about the Scorpio or Pluto in the 11th house. 11th house naturally belongs to Aquarius, right? So the 11th house is like one, uh, pretty much almost the last house, one before the last the 12th, which is Piscean house, right? So the 11th house um, uh, relates to uh, collective consciousness. It relates to the public at large. It relates to groups, political parties, uh, organizations uh, that are changing the direction of society. You know, those people who come up with an idea of organization and then they implement it and then it changes lives of uh, many people in the country, right? And that involvement and that impact stays for years, even when the person who came up with this idea is already gone or passed away, right? So that's the 11th house. It's political organizations, it's humanitarian organizations, it's social groups, it's um, LGBTQ+, it's feminist movement. AA is, it's all of these social groups. It's all Democratic Party, Republican Party. Okay, it's the think tanks, it's the uh, interest groups, it's the um, campaign um, groups, whatever, right? So it's all related to the 11th house. But what if you have Scorpio or Pluto in the 11th house? That indicates that you might be striving to, bec to become a part of a larger cause than yourself, okay? Because you have this intuitive vision on the society at large and you having Pluto or Scorpio um, endows you with the ability to see beyond what's right in front of you, right? You can see where society is heading, the new trends, uh, what's going on, what people are focused on, what people are struggling with. And through that vision, right, you are able to come up with uh, a plan uh, that will transform the society and help them solve the issues that are going on based on your vision, right? So these people are literally trendsetters. They can um, understand the undercurrents of everything around them, right? And uh, and here's the thing, right? Pluto or Scorpio uh, gives you a vision, intuitive ability to see where the society is going. However, uh, a lot of the times that vision is negative because of Plutonic uh, death and rebirth, right? Um, I mean, all Pluto and Scorpio um, energies and placements indicate that you might see the reality for what it is, but in darker colors and shades because like Pluto j immediately uh, puts you in the negative side of seeing things because like it's you see the reality but if you're not if you're not careful then you might take this vision as a pessimistic one and uh, and fall into depression because oh it's so bad like the society is so bad like I see where we're going and we're not going anywhere good and therefore why would I contribute you know so that's also possible for this placement some people may be become overly depressed because of what they see in the world right and not wanting to deal with it and kind of hide from it but then there, there's another um, group of people with this placement who will see the vision right the negativity and will be inspired by it to change it right so that's the 11th house. 11th house is also related to your friends um, the people you connect with so one thing okay there were they the friendships with this placement may go different directions can be interpreted many ways okay and it will play out differently for each and every one of you with this placement so some people may be overly obsessed with the fear of betrayal and not um, allowing themselves to contribute or um, be a part of a larger cause or even form friendships at all because of that depressive um, nature right negative vision um, 
there, there's another group of people who will have friends not a lot with scorpio or pluto in the 11th it doesn't mean that you have you'll have a lot of friends if you have venus or libra there then yeah or even aquarius but have friends right whom you've been through a lot and they've proven themselves to you and they're literally friends for life for whom you can do anything and everything and um yeah so so friendships with this placement um are tested through time through hardships if you've gone through a lot of hardships you might have really really good friends beside you but there's also a tendency to push friends away with this placement okay because of fear of betrayal and a lot of the times i see people with this placement they don't have a lot of friends because i mean scorpio in the 11th or pluto pluto in the 11th um not a lot of people want to be friends with these folks really like they won't wouldn't want to be friends with you if you have this placement because your energy is so intense and like um some people can't stand it and they can't really relax in your presence and they constantly feel like a um a sense of control from your side and that's why it's not easy for them to be friends with you so there's like two ways right but there's also um a high probability of you um having sex with your friends you know because pluto is sex right it's the rock and roll it's death and rebirth so you might be having hookups with your friends on a consistent basis which can spur other things you know fear of betrayal as well and kind of depart you from that friendship so it's very possible and then there's also you might be the one who betrays your friends and manipulates them there's also we need to control and manipulate the society at large so if your pluto is manifesting in this way then you should stop that okay you should not um impact contribute to society from that place okay because shit will be taken away from you like i always talk in my videos right about pluto pluto gives you everything through manipulation but shortly after it will be taken away because the balance is distorted and when balance is distorted shit takes is being taken away from us uh people betray us and um so that we don't have any attachment so that our identity is not attached to anything so what so that we can rise again you know as a new transformed individual so uh wherever your pluto is placed please do not be overly concerned with manipulations and check out your motivations as to why you want to do what you want to do okay if it's not coming from a good place a balanced place then mm -mm, it's not going to work for you then um but just in general right uh this place this placement indicate that you might have very long lasting friendships for years where you guys been through like heaven and hell together and um they're very trusted people for you so you can really rely on them and um, not be scared of betrayal but there is a need for this placement to work on your psychology and understand how you can contribute with your vision to the society and if you can do that by looking at the existing systems and finding the mistakes in them and finding the solutions to them then this placement literally states that you're a trendsetter okay i have sun in leo in the 11th house literally on the cusp and i have mercury um within eight degrees away so it's still you know getting that warmth from the sun and uh, for me personally this placement has been working for a very long time and since the age of 19 when i joined uh when i be when i started studying um international relations and political science and groups uh, governments and that's you know 11th house is politics right so i always wanted to understand the collective and uh by knowing by studying that i'm able to see the society's motivations where they're going why people do the way why people act the way they act and what people are interested in i'm very interested in public opinion uh and that was my like primary i would say um um field in masters where we did a lot of you know poll studies and get, like like subtract what is it the answers from like polls where like people were um interviewed for like a thousand two thousand people and then we are able to uh understand um the average opinion of the public right so i studied that so you might be inclined to study in public as well or you might be the one who goes into university and 
uh, pursues political studies or public administration. So where, you know, something that relates to society at large, like organizations and such. And there's actually a need for you to uh, go into the collective consciousness and study the collective, become a part of organizations, become actually maybe even develop, become a founder of organizations because with plutonic energy is so much uh, spiritual insights which literally speak the truth about the world and if you follow those insights you can become very famous and will be remembered for the work you've done and the impact you've created on the collective that will be remembered for years after your death okay so I feel like I've covered everything for this video if this video resonates with you please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your interpretations. And yeah, thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.